Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment generative function for the exponential distribution with the probability density function shown here. Function of x given the parameter beta is equal to 1 over beta, e is negative x over beta, where this probability density function is defined from x equals 0 to infinity and beta greater than 0. Let's now derive the mean. Mean this is equal to expectation of x, and expectation of x is the integral of x times the probability density function, which is this one, dx. This is from 0 to infinity, so we'll put here 0 to infinity. Now, let's move out the constant from the integration. Integral of what we're left with is this one. dx. This is from 0 to infinity. Now let's integrate this one using the integration by parts. Remember the formula for the integration by parts. Integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. In this case, let u is equal to x and dv is the rest of the term which is e raised to negative x over beta dx, then du is the derivative of this one which is dx, and v is the integral of this one which is 1 over negative 1 over beta, e raised to negative x over beta, this is equal to negative beta, e raised to negative x over beta. So now our mean is, so we have here the constant 1 over beta, then since this one is this one, so we'll have uv, which is x, times this one. And we have your e is to negative x over beta. This is from 0 to infinity, then minus integral of v du, minus, we have still the constant 1 over beta, then for integral v du, we have v is this one, du is this one, dx, this is from 0 to infinity. Now, beta and beta will be cancelled, so we're left with negative x, e raised to negative x over beta, this is from 0 to infinity, and for this one, we have beta and beta will be cancelled. So we'll get plus integral of e raised to negative x over beta dx. This is from 0 to infinity. Now uh, for this one, we know already that what we know already this uh, value in here, which is this one, negative beta, negative beta e raised to negative x over beta from here, because this, this one is the integral of this one. So we'll get e equal to negative x e raised to negative x over beta, 0 to infinity, and this is minus beta e raised to negative x over beta from 0 to infinity. Now we can uh, combine this one, we'll get negative x plus beta e raised to negative x over beta, this is from 0 to infinity. Now. Let's evaluate this one. If we substitute infinity for both x in here and in here, in here this one will become infinity because infinity plus beta is still infinity. And for here, e raised to negative uh, infinity will be 1 over e raised to infinity, and this will become 1 over uh, infinity is equal to 0. So we get infinity times 0. In order to evaluate it uh, further, let's use the L-Hospital rule. So this rule states that limit of, uh, let's say, f of x over g of x as x approaches infinity, this is equal to a uh, limit of the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x 
as x approaches infinity. So let us apply in here for the infinity. So limit of this one can be rewritten as negative x plus beta over. So this one will get e raised to x over beta. This is limit as x approaches infinity. Now let us differentiate both the numerator and denominator. We get negative 1 over, where this one will get 1 over beta, e raised to x over beta. So we still have the limit, x approaches infinity. Now if we do know the limit, so this is negative 1 equals to negative 1 over, this one will become infinity. So we'll get 0. So infinity for this one is not infinity but rather zero so we have zero minus then let's substitute zero in here so we'll get negative of zero plus beta e raised to negative zero but e raised to negative zero is e raised to zero and e raised to zero is one so we'll get say minus negative of beta is beta so our mean is beta. Let's now derive the variance for the exponential distribution. For variance, uh, we have the original formula which is expectation of the square of x minus expectation of x and we have also another formula that will be useful for us. Expectation of x squared minus the square of expectation of x. For expectation of x, this is equal to the mean which is equal to beta, so we can use this one for expectation of x. For expectation of x squared, we need to derive it first before we can derive the variance. So let's derive it now. Expectation of x squared is equal to integral of x squared times the probability density function, which is this one, e raised to negative x over beta dx. This is from 0 to infinity, so we'll use it here 0 to infinity we can move out the constant from the integration so we'll get 1 over beta integral of x squared e raised to negative x over beta dx from 0 to infinity now let us integrate this one using the integration by parts remember the formula for the integration by parts integral of u dv is ub minus the integral of v du so let u for here is equal to x squared. Then dv is the rest of the term which is e raised to negative x over beta dx. Then du is the derivative of this term which is 2x dx. And for v, this is the integral of this one which is 1 over negative 1 over beta e raised to negative x over beta which is equal to negative beta e raised to negative x over beta. So now for expectation of x squared, this is equal to, for we have here a constant, then since this one is integral of u dv, then we have u v first, we have x squared for u, and for v is this one. This will be evaluated from 0 to infinity. Then minus integral of v du. So for v, we have this one. And du, we have this one. 2x. And we have dx. This is from 0 to infinity. But we have still the constant 1 over beta. So we can put it in here. Now we can cancel up beta in here. So we'll get negative x squared e raised to negative x over beta from 0 to infinity. And this one, we can cancel out beta. So we'll get negative, and then we have minus, so we have plus integral of. So we can move out 2 from the integration because it's a constant. Then we'll have x e raised to negative x over beta dx from 0 to infinity. Now. Similar to the mean, if we try to substitute infinity in here, 
infinity this will become infinity and for this one for x in here we'll get e raised to negative infinity which is equal to 1 over e raised to infinity is equal to 1 over infinity is equal to 0 so let's use the L hospitals rule to evaluate this one when we substitute infinity so L hospitals rule remember let me write it in here limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches infinity is equal to limit derivative of f of x over derivative of g of x as x approaches infinity so now let's use this one for here limit of let us rewrite this one in here as negative x squared over e raised to x over beta as x approaches infinity then we'll have the derivative of this one is negative 2x over for this one we have 1 over beta e raised to x over beta x approaches infinity now let's do it again this is equal to we have the limit x approaches infinity and this is the derivative of this one is negative 2 over for this one again 1 over beta squared e raised to x over beta now the x in the numerator is already gone so let us try to uh, substitute uh, infinity for x then we'll get negative 2 over e raised to infinity is infinity so we'll have infinity which is equal to 0 so this one will become 0 for infinity so we have 0 minus if we substitute here 0 this will become 0 but here e raised to negative 0 is e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we'll get 0 then plus 2 times for this one remember that this is similar to what we have done for the mean let me show you let me rewrite it in here then I'll show you that we can use what we have done for the mean remember the expectation of x which is equal to the mean this is the integral of x times the probability density function which is this one 1 over beta e raised to negative x over beta dx from 0 to infinity and this is equal to because it's expectation of x which is equal to our mean we have beta now this one we can move up the constant from the integration we have 1 over beta integral of x e raised to negative x over beta dx from 0 to infinity is equal to beta so integral of x e raised to negative x over beta dx from 0 to infinity is beta times beta is beta squared now this one this one it can be substituted for this one so we'll get expectation of x squared is equal to we have 2 times this one so we have 2 times beta squared now for our variance let me uh, rewrite the formula this one in here this is expectation of x squared minus the square of expectation of x then this is equal to for expectation of x squared we have this one 2 beta squared minus for expectation of x this is still our mean beta so we have beta squared so this is beta squared for our variance for exponential distribution let's now derive the moment generating function for the exponential distribution the formula for the moment generating function is expectation of e raised to the x and expectation of e raised to the x is the integral of e raised to the x 
times the probability density function, which is this one. dx. This is from 0 to infinity, so we'll write here 0 to infinity. Then let's move out the constant from the integration. Integral of, then let's combine both exponentials. e raised to negative 1 over beta minus t. x, 1 over beta, then x is from here. And t is from here because minus negative is positive t then x, then this is the x, this is from 0 to infinity. Now let's evaluate this for our constant 1 over beta. Then integral of this one is 1 over negative 1 over beta minus t, then e raised to negative 1 over beta minus t, x, this is from 0 to infinity. Now let's evaluate this one or rather simplify this one. 1 over beta times 1 over beta is 1 and beta times t is beta t. Then let's try to substitute infinity for here. If this whole thing 1 over beta minus t is positive, then we will have e raised to negative infinity. And we know that e raised to negative infinity is 1 over e raised to infinity and 1 over infinity equal to 0. But if this one is, let's say, negative, uh, t is greater than 1 over beta, then e raised to negative and negative will become positive. So we'll have e raised to infinity equal to infinity. So in that case, our moment generating function will not exist. So it's better that this one is positive, or we'll say 1 over beta is greater than t, so that if we substitute infinity in here, it will become 0, not infinity. Let me write it here, 0 minus. If we try to substitute 0 in here, we'll get e raised to negative 0, or e raised to 0. Then e raised to 0 is 1, so we'll have 1, then like this. Now our moment generating function is negative 1 and negative in here will cancel out, so we'll have 1 over 1 minus beta t, where t is less than 1 over beta. So that's our moment generating function.